This tutorial will examine two types of searches, keywords and subject searches. Keyword searches offer an all-encompassing result list. This will be familiar to you because when you are searching with Google or other search engine, you are keyword searching. Keywords are words that you have chosen based on the research topic you selected and represent the main ideas of the topic. Searches using a keyword look in many different places in the record, as you will see shortly. Subject term searches provide a more focused result list. Subject terms are basically descriptive tags that are used to label the main theme or themes of an item. Subject terms are chosen by those who organize the database articles. The subject terms are often unique to a database, so an education database and a history database will have different designated subject terms. Articles about similar topics are grouped together under the same subject heading. Subject terms describe the content of the item. Let's take a look at how this works. This technique will work in any database, but for this tutorial we will be using the library database Academic Search Premier. Start with a keyword search. This is the most common method of searching and is often the pre-selected option in databases. However, keyword searching can also return a lot of results, often too many results. And another drawback is that sometimes the sources don't have anything to do with your topic. Here is a sample keyword search using the term diversity. The database has found all of the instances where the word diversity appears and put them on the list. So we receive 208,128 results. Our search word is located somewhere in these records. It really doesn't matter where the word diversity is located because we didn't specify where to look for the term. Looking at a record, we will see the search term in many places. In the title, subject terms, keyword, and even in the abstract. Diversity shows up in multiple locations. Let's do the search again. This time, we will complete the search using subject terms. Simply click on the drop down menu to select subject. When we search for the word diversity as a subject term, we have 29,950 results. Learning how to search with subject terms can help you be a more efficient researcher. Now instead of looking for our term in every location, the database knows to only look in one area of the record, which are the designated search terms. Looking at the detailed record from one of our results, you will notice the word diversity database did not search any of the other locations. By structuring your search, you create the relevance you want to find. These materials are going to be closer to your topic and more relevant, meaning you have fewer results to go through as well. At this point, you know all the results are going to be about diversity in some way. Your search may not necessarily be exactly what you want yet, but that's okay because that's what the limiters in the left column are for. Using the limiters will allow you to further focus on your chosen topic. In terms of time management, if you search with some forethought, you will be able to locate the resources you need very quickly. Let's review. Keyword searches are natural language, your language, the words you have selected. Keyword searches are easy to use and a good place to start research. Keyword searches are flexible. It is easy to combine words and phrases. A keyword search is a Google type of search. Searches for keywords anywhere and may return search results that are not relevant. You will receive a larger number of results with a keyword search. Keyword searches often return sources that are not related to your search. Subject term searches use controlled vocabulary, their language, the language of the database. Subject terms are predefined terms used to describe ideas, concepts, objects, activities, classes of people, academic subjects, etc. Subject terms are less flexible. This can be difficult if you don't know the exact subject terms. Subject terms provide a controlled search. Database searches for words in the descriptor or subject and search results are more relevant. Subject term searches usually return fewer results than a broad keyword search. Subject term searches are more relevant. They return sources related to your search, although you may be required to use limiters to focus on the topic that you're interested in. If you have further questions, please ask a librarian. You can email us library at limestone.edu 
stop in to visit us at the help desk or visit our website.